petroleum. It's become a dirty word. Diminishing supplies, skyrocketing prices, foreign entanglements, pollution. Yet it's hard to break the addiction. Gasoline is the most obvious example. But petroleum is used in a variety of manufacturing processes. For example, it's the primary material used in making plastics. But that's changing. What can we possibly use to replace oil? Well, it's something a little closer to home. Corn. The Wild Oats supermarket chain is one of the first retailers to embrace the new corn-based plastic. Customers can't tell the difference between petroleum-based plastic and corn-based plastic. That's because the products perform the same. But the customers do know there's a world of difference between the two products. You don't have to travel to some West Coast high-tech hotspot to see this new technology in action. Plastic Suppliers Incorporated has been in operation since 1949, and we've been located in Columbus, Ohio since the, the late 1970s. Uh, the newest product that we have is Earth First PLA Film, and PLA stands for polylactic acid. PLA, polylactic acid, is a clear nature-based resin that's used to create plastic film in sheets. The technology is cutting edge, and um, we are the only company in the world that has a patented pending manufacturing process. Um, one of the most important reasons that we're getting away from a commodity product is because we're being hurt from the imports of other companies. They can produce it so much cheaper than we can. And one way of getting away from that was finding another source, especially a domestic source. And um, it helps us even more that the product is completely natural. The rolls of plastic film are sent all over the world. They become everything from flexible packaging for fruits and vegetables, to floral sleeves, to windows and donut boxes and envelopes. Today, there's one plant that takes corn and turns it into corn resin, the first step in the process. It's in Blair, Nebraska, and it's run by NatureWorks LLC, a subsidiary of Cargill. So how are these corn resin pellets transformed into plastic film? First, it gets packed and shipped to Columbus, Ohio. Earth First PLA resin comes to plastic suppliers in these 2,000 pound super sacks from Blair, Nebraska. And this is what the resin looks like before it's made into film and sheets. When we open these super sacks, the resin then goes up into dryer units to take out all the moisture before the resin is sent to the extrusion process. Once the corn resin is in the drying unit and the moisture is completely removed, it is sent through the extrusion process where it is heated up. a bubble behind me. This is the result of the corn resin being forced through the extrusion process using the combination of heat and pressure. It is then forced upwards using air through a die to form the bubble. After the bubble is collapsed, the product goes through a series of rollers to help form the final product, Earth First PLA Film. Traditionally, petroleum is used to make plastics, and petroleum is a finite source. Uh, we can only rely on that so much and for so long. And what makes this film so attractive is that it is uh, made from a resource, corn, which is annually renewable, and it's a completely sustainable product. But the advantages don't end there. It's been estimated that petroleum-based plastics are going to take nearly 500 years to disappear, and that's biodegrading in the landfills. The film that we make here in Columbus, Ohio, takes just a matter of several weeks for very thin film with the right combination of heat, moisture, and bacteria, and it can be composted. Under carefully monitored conditions at commercial facilities, 
Earth First PLA film can be completely composted. It's very invigorating seeing the sense of excitement from the consumers and they're excited that there is an alternative to the petrochemical based films. And the future really is now. Each day, America consumes over 20 million barrels of oil. And every year, each American produces 1,500 pounds of waste, some of which will be with us for centuries. So where does that leave us? Can the petro addiction be broken? And can a renewable, sustainable resource right from our own backyard be our way out? It's an exciting prospect. And it's happening today in Columbus, Ohio.